is out and that is why my mood is more animated than usual because it has been gloomy basically three weeks straight here in Paris. I think there's been like glimmers of sun maybe in the evening for like an hour or two. This is generally the first morning I've woken up and there's actually mostly blue skies. There was like a massive storm last night. Like it literally blew open these windows at like 3 a.m. I thought I was being haunted, but alas, it was the wind. If you haven't seen my last video, bonjour ou bon matin, je m'appelle Elena obviously. And oh, let me try to say this in French. Je suis restée à Paris parce que je veux apprendre français et aussi je veux découvrir un, un nouvel expérience. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm renting my friend's apartment and I'm taking French classes, specifically at Ecole Suisse, and I'm doing it in intensive programs. Hopefully it improve my French. Um, I couldn't even say those lines to two and a half weeks ago. So baby steps. I know I'm probably saying the wrong shit, but hey, we're trying. I always warn people. I'm like, if you want me to speak French, I'm going to sound like a five-year-old. You've got to start somewhere. Very humbling learning a language in your like mid twenties, as opposed to when you're like a teenager, but we're trying nonetheless. What I like about this program too, is there's only about four other people in my class. And it's very much like oral expression focused as most comprehension. So you're really forced to talk because there's not that many people in the class, so you can't hide. And at the same time, you also get comfortable with people quickly. So you're not as, you know, concerned to make mistakes. I feel like if it's a really big class, you're like, oh my God, please don't call me. It's been a goal of mine for years to learn French. And I was like, I'm not getting any younger. There's always an excuse not to do it. I had some flexibility in my schedule. So I was like, screw it. Let's do this thing. Okay, I need to go. I usually take my bikes to get to class. The first one I went and unlocked, someone had knocked off the pedal. So I had to like redock it. And then I walked really far to another one. And then it wasn't there. Where should I pass? And now I'm literally gonna be like five to eight minutes late to class. about how beautiful the morning it was. And then I proceeded to get absolutely shit on by buckets of rain. <laughs> and the first three bikes didn't work, so now I'm six minutes late to class. Um, tu penses? No, j'ai lui dit que j'y partais sans lui. Um, back in the apartment. I've actually been back for a little bit, just getting some work done. Having my like third coffee of the day. 
But I figured I'd explain what I'm doing here as a little student again, because I'm getting a lot of questions. So I am in Paris, bien sûr, obviously. Missed my last videos. I'm just here for a couple months, but it feels quite different this time because I'm doing it fully solo. It's been challenging and rewarding and all the things lonely at times, <laughs> but I've been really wanting to learn French for years and it's so damn hard trying to learn on your own. It's so hard trying to learn in your mid and late twenties. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let me go to Paris amongst a variety of other reasons. And so I was asking around to some friends and it was actually Jack Edwards, our book king, cheers to him, who recommended this school, Ecole Suisse, which is where I'm studying right now. It's a little bit on this school. Obviously this is not sponsored by them. Would love that. These language schools are not cheap, but I do think it's quite worth it. So it's kind of a intensive program. It's Monday through Friday, every morning from 9 a.m. till 12.30 with the option of adding on even more hours in the evening, but I still need to like work and edit. And I have a lot of other like moving parts and projects at the moment. So I don't have time to do the afternoon classes, but I've been doing the morning classes. You take a little test and they place you. And what's nice is the classes range from four to eight students and it's never larger than eight, which I think is really helpful. And honestly, when the classes sometimes been seven or eight people, it almost feels too big, which is very helpful insight because I think in the past at language classes where there's like 25 people or even 15 like it's impossible to really learn and get the practice that you really need i'm just doing like four or five weeks to start and i might add on more and so some of these students have been here for weeks and it's really cool because it's people from like every walk of life je devenir never quand je dois parler français Hey, we gotta start somewhere. I've always considered myself somebody who just sucks at languages. Like it does not come naturally to me whatsoever. I do not have that gene or like skill set. And so it's been really inspiring as somebody who sucks at language learning <laughs> to be making progress. I'm like, what a concept. Wow, you really put in work and you see an outcome. Look at that, wild, right? As everyone always says, like immersion is obviously the top thing you can do for yourself for language learning. But I do think it's silly when people are like, oh, just move to that country and you'll just like soak it in. I'm like, I'm not gonna photosynthesize French just by like walking on the streets. Like Trying to get some work done here and <laughs> surprise, surprise, my um, computer is completely out of space. I paid more to have a computer with more space. So it has one terabyte and there are seven gigabytes left. Like this is not good. This needs to be cleaned up. It's time to use my favorite Clean My Mac. It's literally a lifesaver. My life is on this computer and it gets so chaotic in here and it's so helpful to have a software that helps clean it up and kind of just streamline the process. So here's what it looks like. So cute for the holidays and my computer can use some love and basically Clean My Mac takes out all the hassle for you, especially with the holiday season around the corner. Clean My Mac has you covered. So you can spend more time with your family and let Clean My Mac be your basically tech support bestie and take care of the Mac. All you need is to basically press one button and their smart scan helps clean it up, remove malware and speed up your computer all in one go, which is amazing. Like it really only takes like a couple minutes to polish up your computer again. So I also wanna show you the menu app, which has so many helpful features, like checking your, you know, your Wi-Fi, your battery performance, how much space you have left. And it's great because for the winter holidays, Clean My Mac is giving 30% off on all Clean My Mac plans, including the one for five Macs, so you can have your whole family covered. You can get 30% off with their code, Elena. So of course, everything will be linked down below. Check out Clean Your Mac and save yourself some chaos. I'm about to literally do the cleanup right now and then get some work done because I can barely use this thing with the speed it's going at. Where are we? I don't know how to say it. Carrette? La Carrette? Which is famous for? Um, liquid chocolate. Literally, yeah. It's basically what it is. <laughs> so wow. I pretty much was just going from school back home to work and maybe doing like a workout class 
And you know what? I'm getting a little stir crazy, so we gotta mix up the routine to keep things interesting and also enjoy being in a new city. So maybe we'll just mix boring after. But it is raining and cold. Here's the look of the day. I lost uh, my umbrella, so I've just been going with a hat whenever it's raining. <laughs> lunch at a place called Bonhomme, which was so good and well priced too, and then decided to work a little bit at a cafe. And I'm taking the scenic walk home. outside of actually learning French. So I just turned 27, a cute age, but also an age that gives me a little bit of anxiety, which I don't like that that's where my brain goes because there's such ageism and pressure put around women and certain societal expectations that are so unfair and outdated and yet they've been ingrained in us. And I know in a very similar societal vein, it does not affect men the same way. Like women are expected to have lived an entire life by the time they're 30 in a biological clock and are treated very differently upon turning certain ages. Whereas most of my male straight friends in New York are freaking children at 35, love y'all but like you are. Whereas for women, as you enter your late 20s and 30s, you're expected to have so much figured out and to fit into certain norms. And I have been thinking about this a ton. If you wanna read a little bit on this, um, one of the books that really got my brain churning a couple years ago surrounding these kinds of conversations was The, the Beauty Myth. Okay, anyways, I'm rambling now. <laughs> one thing that I'm really loving about my little school program, it brings together so many different people from literally every walk of life and I love it. It is such a beautiful thing that I didn't even think of and I had no expectations for. I kind of went into it being like, eh, I don't know if I'm really making any friends. But now it's like, I have a friend who's like 60 years old from like New Zealand. And there's this girl who's 18 from New York who's super cool. The people I'm talking with are from Switzerland and Seattle and India, <laughs> from all the corners of the world. It's so easy to get stuck in your little bubble of your friends and your work, whatever your different little social systems are, you know, that becomes your norm. Like that's how social structures usually work. But there's something so beautiful about having that being popped and you're exposed to so many different perspectives and ways of living life that really like shakes you out of these structures. And I feel like I've been so inspired by being surrounded by such different people from whom I'm usually around. Now I'm meeting these people with very different types of stories and paths. A lot of people do have just carved out this chapter of life for themselves to just 
you know, learn French, enjoy the city, no matter the station of life they're at. I feel like the way my brain works, which I don't love, is I have like insane anticipatory anxiety about like the future and it can be so overwhelming at times. And meeting people who are in really different stages of life and yet they're still doing these cool things is super inspiring. You know, seeing these older women who are taking time out of their normal life and just wanted to come to Paris and learn French. A lot of people here too are helping kind of reconfigure my ideas on work and life balance and what success means. I mean like, hello, good old capitalism versus socialism. I grew up in capitalist USA, red, white, and blue, baby. And this somewhat different perspective of the French as well as a lot of the Europeans I'm hanging out with was really helping me reframe for one, kind of that anxiety of like, oh gosh, I need to have certain things figured out and I don't know what's next. I don't know what to do with myself. Just being like, okay, enjoy the journey. <laughs> and so I didn't really expect that to come. I'm taking some French classes. So I guess what I maybe am trying to say, going out with some different people, pop your social bubble and hang out with people who are very different from the people you normally be around. I feel like I haven't been able to do as much exploring as I would like because I've been kind of going straight from class doing like half days of work. And so on that note, I'm really excited because I was messaging Nathaniel Dream. I was like, hey, let's hang out, spend a second. And he's like, I actually have an extra ticket to Devandra Van Hart tonight. So I'm gonna get ready and see Devandra Van Hart. And he just put out an amazing new album. And I'm so excited to have a little evening out in Paris. Let's go listen to some music. Like that is my favorite kind of evening. I'm so excited.